Hello everyone, Victoria here from Lifetime Story Photography and right now I would love to show you a selection of the images from today's session starting with potato shot and I will show you also how I edit a couple of images and how is my thinking and the final results. You will have a PDF with the actions what I use and everything else what will be useful for you to get started so looking at his session as i told you i've started with the blue wrap and that's the potato on the in the flocati in that bowl and then i've done potato on his back with the pillow in the back then we moved into then we moved on uh, potato in the cast stretcher and we had this wrap underneath again different angles you can take more shots if you want to go deeper then we took the yellow wrap down and we went into a crate and we wrapped the baby with the brown wrap and we used the teddy bear and finally we ended up with the twist wrap in a little bit more boho setup and I did took some with hats with no hats and I did took a backlit shot also so thinking how you take your shots you try different angles you come from the top important is to make sure that the light is right and as you'll see, my light comes right on a diagonal. So you can see, you'll have to look for the shadows. These are my shadows. Now I shoot darker than I have to. This is a beautiful potato pose and he's smiling. The hat was a little bit big here, but we can liquefy and see how we can fix that. And as you see, this one, I'm not really interested in this pose, but I can use this image from here to make this beautiful one and the same thing you'll do with this one you'll use if we rotate this one you'll use this part from here into this one or the other way around so you can't maybe we will do this too yes and again hands on the baby all the time when will we put the baby on the back you need the parent just to keep the eyes or put his hands on his belly again you'll become better in time in here it was two seconds he couldn't move anywhere we had lots of support under his back this is the cat stretcher again lots of pillow under the back the chin the hands under chin gives support to the neck different angle again looking at my light you see how it hits somewhere here you see how the hat is more white and comes above the nose and then it's darker and you can see a little bit of light here too so i do like to to look for that same in here and like i said i shoot a little bit darker and this was the more boho look now if we take these images in camera raw i use camera raw then I will show you how I edit these images. We can rotate this image because it's not so good. Like that. And that's a backlit. And in here, you when you do this sort of backlit, this is the time when you can use macro shots and you can extend your gallery to make even more images. Now, during the session, I have about 26 images here. But this is just for the potato pose, so you have more than enough to make different images and variety in your gallery. But we did do poses, new div shots, you could add parents in there and you can um, change hats, wraps, so you could have an amazing gallery with this. Now let's rotate this image too, so we'll see which one we will we will use probably this two and this two so you see how they match together and again if we rotate these two images you can see how you can use top hand bottom hand we will take one image and uh, change that and we will work with that
so we take one potato and I do love the white I really love the white we take one white we take this is just for the um, editing purposes so I'll do more into um, the session take this one I love this one why not let's do the back one beautiful baba black sheep <laughs> so let's take these images into camera row for now all right so the first thing what i will do i will rotate these things because they are annoying and this one perfect so i'll show you how i edit one or two images especially the um, composite one and then the rest will be the same so looking here usually because i shoot with my r6 i already have presets are just at the bottom and you'll see i've done so many and some of them they don't work anymore because i've changed from um, mark 3 to r6 but these are my favorite ones and i do love them so this was for outdoors but it works perfectly in here a little bit yellowish because it was outdoors but going back to my original preset which is this one so i what i do I, once that i choose my preset i pretty much select the rest and then i apply the same preset to all of them now this one looks perfect to me but if you had to change something maybe your highlights you can pull them down but i really love how it looks now this one it's a little bit in darkness and uh, in shadow so we will pull those shadows a little bit more higher because i don't really want them so um, dark because i keep my light in the same way sometimes darker background they become darker but i don't stress too much because because we can easily pull those um, shadows up this one looks good maybe a little bit more shadow in there and not so much highlighting here I love this baby I think it's beautiful <laughs> we don't need to do too much on this one and again here a little bit more um, lift those shadows because we can't see that crate and let's put the weight up a bit and exposure a bit so isn't that great it looks perfect lovely and this one is pretty good I like it you you can see in here how my light hits coming down and I have the triangle on the side beautiful now these are my final um, edit on um, ACR let's do this together too and now what we will do we will put them into Photoshop that's where the magic starts and if I select them all you go on that little triangle down i save them as jpegs when i edit them and sometimes i save them as uh, tips also tips are quite big files so this time we go jpegs mm. because i really don't want to to uh, make my computer slow because i'm editing and i want you to see it without any stops um right we will wait for the images to be saved as jpegs and then we can start editing the skin it's pretty easy because as you'll see it's quite perfect in the camera 
So we go under sessions on my desktop. We save them in here. We'll move into a folder later. I still work with my Photoshop 2020 because I love that. This baby is cute. <laughs> so let's start with the beginning. We want to remove this hand. Let's see which image do I like the most. I like this one. So we want this side to move in this way. So what you do, command B. What you do, you take this image, command A, command C, you copy it and you bring it over the other image, command B, copy paste. Now, if you're not sure about how they match on top of each other, you reduce the opacity and then command T, pretty much you can match it over the top. Here we go. And then you can bring back that opacity. You add a mask. Here we go. You add a mask and I've just started my Wacom tablet uh, because I work with a Wacom. I always invert my layer, command I, and with a brush, I'm going to 100% percent opacity you paint over the top coming closer to the ear and be careful on that edge hmm? told you sometimes it's slow coming closer here we go we just make it round in there beautiful now we have to be careful right there because it's the um, her finger. Let's see. But what you can do, you can zoom in and we make sure it's around his ear. We've done it correctly. It's hard to talk in the same time while you edit. Cool. So if we look right now before and after, I still want to fix it here because I believe it wasn't quite well. Cool. Let's see. Before and after. And I really want to fix it. So you'll have to go and do slight changes before and after. Cool. And I like that. So pretty much we go with that. We flatten. I have, I use lots of shortcuts. Then this part here, you can use this uh, what is called is called the um, patch tool I think no, this is the patch tool and there's the spot healing you can use spot healing or patch tool it doesn't really matter and to keep a different pattern you move it a little bit around I don't like to keep it in the same spot and I don't like to have same darkness too much, so I try to blend it. Cool, cool, cool. Now, what you can do, I like when I have my rug fluffed up around the baby, but I know some of you like to have it quite straight. So make sure that this side is very straight. So I will copy a little bit of a texture here. I will reduce the opacity just to give a different blend. And again, I add um, mask and I blend it. And then I can reduce the opacity again a little bit more. I couldn't see too much texture in there and I wanted to see that. 
cool 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 and again you can play and make sure you have everything right in camera now looking at the crop i like to crop out a bit and rotate my baby a little bit and because we have content aware i love content aware you go in there and you press enter and pretty much everything will be populated so you don't have to do anything if we go in history we make a um, copy of this go before and after all right so now what i like to do also is to go into my liquify and make him round so my brush it's a um, at 29 pressure now with editing if you do it alone you should be faster than me right now because i talk this takes longer cool cool cool, cool. beautiful I just want to make his head a little bit round. All right, his cheeks are pretty perfect. And then we do skin. And I use Hello Little Prop Beauty Blender Smooth Finish Skin. It's um, if I use um, if I do uh, editing or maternity, I do use frequency separation. You can do this in the babies too, but you don't really need to do too much. I do it as hundred percent opacity, and I don't take the flakes out yet because I sometimes when you do this pretty much it takes away also the redness and everything else so I do my skin smoothing first and then I see if I got any other blemishes left cool so I do flatten the image I always flatten the image and then I can go and take any little spots now with the spots I don't do too much if the baby is not um, very acne prone or something like that now I like my images warm and I don't mind if they have a little bit of um, magenta yellowish tinge and he was a redhead so we leave it like that um, what I also do I um, sharpen my image a little bit uh, you can add a little bit of pink into his cheeks um, again I use LHP and this I use only 10% because I choose a very strong red and it doesn't need to be so strong you can go over the lips you can do so many things for me it's more than enough um, I also use the same um, feeling hazy from LHP and it makes the backdrop a little bit more blurred and takes a little bit of haze on the top you'll see it's a lot we don't need so much we just take it down tone it down it's just to drag that the attention towards the baby and we will reduce it a little bit more and perfect and usually i come over the baby and I take it off 
from the head I do leave it on the wrap a bit at 100% opacity I like to leave it over the wrap to bring the attention to Bob you can add vignettes if you need to you can soften it more i don't really need because i shot it at 1.8 so he's pretty perfect the only thing which i add it's an action of mine um, i sharpen it a little bit and it's an action which says it just makes it the bob a little bit more in focus especially for print so yeah this is the final image i wouldn't do anything else uh, because this is my style now if i do another fast image let's do this one on white pretty much again i will go into liquify and make my baby round super fast one it's not always they come round and perfect but I like my babies to be round and perfect you can increase your pressure if you want but I don't like it cool I don't need to do anything else in here beautiful I will apply the um, skin you can try smooth I like beauty blender for me and again if you had any issues the flaking out will fix any flakes he doesn't have too many I'm doing it at 100% like I told you in his case right now I wouldn't apply any redness because he has his cheeks a little bit red if you want to um, reduce the redness you can desaturate a bit and you can do that or there will be lots of actions where you can take the um, redness down and I do have also um, action from apple seeds so I go with blemishes reduce the reds and let's try reduce it here a little bit it's a little bit too much because I've done it at 100% and we will reduce the redness in there beautiful maybe a little bit higher that's it and if we go closer I remember those flakes a little bit in there you can use the patch tool you can use the healing brush beautiful so again, hello little prop, where is it, drop only average, it creates me that haze, I don't need to do a vignette because it's white, You, I don't need to blur it out because I have good camera settings, so it's pretty perfect and that's it, just a little bit, we remove it from the baby's forehead. I leave it on the wrap as you will see and I sharpen it a bit like I said he doesn't need red because he's quite red in there oopsie I used my desaturation and I didn't have to I wanted to do sharpening cool he's done so these are the results of the um, edited images I will uh, put my preset in here uh, some of the actions if you don't have I can give them to you with no problem I save this I will finish the rest of the images 
and I will, um, you will see them in the video too. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something and see you in the next tutorial. Have a great day. See you soon.